One of the things that I try to do on this channel is keep it real with you guys. I don't want to come across as some know-it-all fisherman who always catches huge fish and that lives a glamorous life making videos for YouTube. Because frankly, making YouTube videos about fishing is not really glamorous at all. And today is a perfect example of such an experience. So the story starts like this. I had plans to shoot a regular fishing video. Um, I was going to go to a spillway and fish the creek running out of the spillway. I thought it would be a nice little area that's overlooked by a lot of anglers and I felt confident that I could catch a bunch of fish in there. So I arrived at the main spillway area where a lot of people fish and I was shooting a piece to camera. I was talking about the spillway, talking about my game plan for the day. Now the camera I'm shooting with is a Sony ZV-1. It's a fantastic little camera and I had it on a little tripod. Now this tripod has a quick release plate that attaches to the actual camera and that allows me to pop the camera on and off very very quickly. So like I said I finished my piece to camera and I went to adjust something with the head of my tripod and the quick release plate popped off the tripod. And the camera rolls down the bank and into the water. Now, my GoPro happened to be running at the time, so I actually captured this unfortunate incident. Down it, down it, down it, down it, down it. Oh no! You ever have one of those moments where your body just freezes and you don't know what to do? That was literally me as I watched my camera tumble down the bank and go kerplunk into the water. Now, thankfully, the water wasn't very deep and I was able to reach down in there and pull it out. Oh my word, bro. My GoPro on? Oh, my GoPro's on. Well guys, I have to say, I'm kind of sick on my stomach. Um, I just dropped this camera, which retails for like 600, 700 bucks. I just dropped it into the water. And most likely, this is gonna become a paperweight and I'm gonna be out like 600, 700 bucks, which is really, really sad. But nevertheless, I still have a GoPro with me. I have my phone and I have a backup camera and I'm gonna continue filming the video. Uh, we're gonna keep grinding, gonna try and catch some fish today despite the terrible circumstances. So as you guys saw from that clip, I was very, very sad, obviously, and I decided to grind out the day. I was gonna finish the video. I was gonna go catch a bunch of fish and make this day worthwhile. Guess what happened? I caught one fish that day, a little bass, about seven inches long. It turns out that this really cool spot that I thought I found was absolutely garbage. So there you go, that is my unfortunate incident and that's how I lost $700 in one fishing trip. But with that being said, I do have plans to try to resurrect this camera. I have it sitting on top of a dehumidifier right now. I'm gonna leave it there for quite a while and then I'm gonna actually put it in some rice and see if that'll draw the moisture out. I'm gonna try and fire it back up again in a couple days but uh, my hopes are not high. I have been able to resurrect soggy cameras before, but they generally are really glitchy and they don't work well. Honestly guys, sometimes unfortunate stuff happens in life and you gotta be willing to just shake it off and move on and maybe even laugh at yourself. The footage was kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time when hopefully I can just make a standard video without any problems or issues. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.